Hello and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. And guys, I do apologize for not posting Wi-Fi battles and of course this and you. By the way, um this is just because it's kinda tedious to get to Wi-Fi battles and PO is just like click click boom uh shazam what other words you may have. So anyway, I'm uh, up against uh, Charizard takes fights here, and I just go straight away for the Freak Out on his Monferno, but judging by the damage, that thing is Eviolite. Because, uh, Monfernos just really tend to be uh, frail without Eviolite, you know, maybe uh, S Sash lead is more common, but this thing takes a frustration and a Fake Out pretty, pretty well, and it's able to set up the rocks effectively. So right here we just go for the U-turn, I really just should have gone for, just switched out instead of going for the U-turn because the damage was not that much on that Monferno because it is really bulky and uh, just I get more life orb recoil that way which is no bueno. So I switch in into my Scarfed Electabuzz and he, as he just goes for the slack off. And I'm going to T-bolt that thing and it's going to be a solid to hit KO. And uh, considering that it doesn't go for the slack off and start just PP stalling me. But luckily for me, I do get the para hacks and he does get fully paralyzed, which is pretty cool for me. So that's like super hacks right there. And right here, the Thunderbolt takes it out, which is like hacks to the 12th power. So I get lots of hacks in this game, by the way. And he's going to send in his Bahiam, and thinking that thing, this thing usually uses Calm Mind, um, I just switch out into my Mystery Vist so I could Toxic that thing as fast as possible. But he just shows me that he has a Nasty Plot as opposed to the Calm Mind, which is a surprise! Hey, idea. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, see what I did there. Nasty Plot idea. Yeah. Anyway, very fun. Yeah, so I hit the Toxic, which is amazing, considering that I always miss them, and it's only 10% chance to miss them, but I always find a way, because some famous guy once said that the impossible just takes longer, and that is exactly the case here. But a plus two Psychic Stab, Psychic 2 and Mystery Viz is going to uh, kill one hit KO, so I go into my Persian and fake that thing out. Now, uh, Behem is, you know, nah, pretty bulky, and a technician boosted, life orb boosted fake out, which is stab and all that goody stuff that you find in your cereal, is going to do a pretty good chunk to that alien worship. <laughs> so I just go for the U-turn super effective damage, and uh, it almost takes it out very narrowly, but uh, not quite close, but no cigar, 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 I am I'm good at English, yes. So I take more life orb recoil and rocks damage, which is uh, meh, meh, that is exactly how I feel about it, it's just meh. But he goes with a recover, which is rage inducing, and... Uh, yeah, that makes my life a living hell, but it's okay because Satan is my best friend. I'd like to call him Lucy. If you get that, um, congratulations, I guess? Sure. Uh, so he just keeps on going for the recover, and in turn, I just try to tox him, stall him out by going for recover myself, which proved to be a bad idea because I predicted him to go for the psychic here, and, uh, probably take out some more health than I had missing, so that's bad play on my part, and I'm just playing like a tershat right here because I just keep on going for recover thinking that he's going to attack. That, that doesn't entirely happen, but I see that the psychic is going to do more than half HP, so I'm not going to be able to toxic saw this thing out at all, so Shelmet, I'm sorry. Um, but you are a very boss-like crustacean. I'm not even sure if you're from the sea, but you look like a c clam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I used you wrong. I should have gone for the bug buzz. Um, please take me back, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, Shelmet. So, Shelmet is going to have to die here, but good news is I kind of got the toxic turn starting to get up 
and Toxic is going to take that down to almost dead. And I'm just going to proceed to go into my Armaldo here and just take it out. Or, yeah. So, Armaldo comes in, I'm going to take it out with an Excessor. Probably just should have done that in the first place, you know. Would have made my life a lot easier. But an easy life is a boring life. Brought to you by Zack, um, the very insightful Pokemon narrator. So, X Scissor takes it out, and then he's just going to go into his Luminion. And I'm judging by the thing way he brought it in, it's probably scarfed, but it does take out my Armaldo in one hit. Even though it's super effective damage stab and all that goodness, it's a possibility that I would have lived it. So that leads me to thinking that it's maybe specs. But I just know that it is choiced somehow. So, Electabuzz comes in. My Electabuzz is scarfed. I probably should just have gone for the Volt Switch because the electric move is utterly predictable. So he goes into his Cryogonal and uh, it just sponges that electric move up like Spongebob, but Spongebob is kind of water type, so I brought her and yeah, so he won't really take it very well, as in Spongebob, and he lives in salt water, which is very highly conducive, so anyway, I switch into my Caracosta to take that Ice Beam, and I pretty much get a free Shell Smash here, because one, Caracosta's a turtle, and two, Cryogonal can't really do anything because all it has is Ice Beam and probably Rapid Spin, Toxic, and Recover. Because those are Cryogonals that usually run around. So I'm going to go for the Shell Smash here. I'm going to get plus two Spec Attack, plus two Attack, and plus two Speed, which is pretty broken. But I don't really know how to use this Caracosta very effectively, so. That kinda sucks. So White Herb is going to take away that negative nonsense and this Luminion is going to take me down to the nubbiest of nubs of health, which is pretty rage inducing for uh, the opponent. And I hit the Stone Edge, which is utterly fantastic and I don't know how I hit that Stone Edge, but I was like calling my mom that I hit the Stone Edge and I was like, yeah, I hit Stone Edge and Toxic and the lady on the other line said that she's not my mother. So, here I just go for the Aqua Jet because I didn't know if I was faster or not. And I was just assuming that Aqua Jet would be uh, solid damage, but I assumed wrong and Xizzer just takes out my Caracosta and. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Shell Smash, very broken. Yeah. yeah. I know it is, but. And uh, only in the right hands. So, I, the fake out here is very obvious. But he switches out into his Cryogonal, which is kinda weird, because Cryogonal does not have physical defense at all, even though it is a monster on the specialty defensive side. So as you can see here, it brings it down to red health, and that is pretty much a free KO for me. And Persian is going to sit on a rug and drink milk, because that's what Persians do in Iran. So Cryogonal goes down after a frustration, and I have enough health after life or recoil to do one more attack. And that one more attack is going to be a frustration on this Levani. I know I can outspeed, and that's going to be a KO because I get a crit here. And yes, um, <laughs> lots of hacks. Usually, hacks really don't go my way, but I'm thanking the Hex God and Satan for blessing me with their grace. So we're down to our last two Pokemon, and he has his Zangoose while I have my uh, Electabuzz, my Elibla, and this is going to uh, pretty much decide who's the winner here. So he uses Protect to get his Toxic Orb activated as I go for the Focus Blast, and being Scarfed, I'm locked into the Focus Blast, and if I hit the next one, then I win. If I miss it, I lose. Fortunately, I hit this Focus Blast, and that is good game, Charizard takes flight. So, if you enjoyed this battle, that's good for you. Um, if you enjoy worshipping the devil, um, that is also good for you. High five. Internet five. Yeah, um, so, 
Charizard yeah. takes flight. Thank you for the awesome battle, and thank you for subscribing. Ho ho, yeah. And thank you for the graceful people on Smogon who are very nice and don't complain about the most overpowered things in Enya that I have on my team. So, until next time, uh... Toodaloo? Is that the word? Yeah, yeah, toodaloo.